Welcome back, Cardboard Warriors. I hope everything's going good for you right now. Uh, time to open the Zendikar Commander Lands Wrath deck. This is uh, the one I, I think is probably going to be a little more exciting than the other one. Uh, the sneak attack with no sneak attack. <laughs> so this is the Lands Wrath. This is all about a boon, Mordaya ancestor. An ancient elf spirit of the Maldaya, Abun is more influential in death than he ever was in life. A leader among his people, he would do anything to protect them, backed up by a mastery of the forces of nature. Kind of looks like a little tiny Omnath, doesn't he? Like Omnath's little, little cousin. Um, anyway, 100 card deck with three new cards. Woo, three whole new cards. A deck box, uh, 10 double-sided token cards, life wheel, strategy insurance, and reference cards. So, there you have it. This is the Land's Wrath Commander deck from Zendikar Rising. Let's see what's in it. They show an Omnath on the back. I wonder if there actually is an Omnath in here. That would be pretty cool. Omnath is a beast. Man, the new one, so broken. So broken. What are you guys thinking of that Scoot Swarm broken deck combo out there now? <laughs> crazy. Breaking servers. A thousand triggers at once. What's up with that? All right. So in here is all your accoutrement. You got your deck box and your, apparently everything inside the deck box, your life counter, little spin counter thing. And then your instructional book on how to uh, how to play commander. A little step-by-step -step instruction. And then a little, little lore on the backside. And of course, ads for more products that you can go buy right now because watch you want your money they don't care if you like them they just want your money so <laughs> anybody gotten their uh double masters for their uh vip upc codes yet yeah me neither <laughs> i'm not holding my breath on that one if i get them it'll be nice but I'm not holding my breath that what he's actually gonna come through on that hopefully hopefully because i really do feel like i got kind of hosed out some money on those vip packs anyways here we go. A Boon Moldaya Ancestor. So he's a, a white, green, red, and a colorless. He's a foil mythic here. He's a 3-3. Three, three. At the beginning of combat on your turn, up to one target land you control becomes an XX elemental creature with trample and haste until end of turn where X is a Boon's power. It's still land. His landfall is whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature. Pretty good. Pretty good card. All right. Let's break in the deck, see what we got here. I don't know how powerful he is, but I know Landfall is broken right now. Wow, Landfall is so strong. I love it. <laughs> if it's if it's broken, I enjoy it. That's just how it is. Um, okay. Jeez. All right, let's break in here, see what we get. Okay, Abzan Falconer. Banishing Light, great card. Condemn, another good card. Crush Contraband. Elite Scale Guard, Core Cartographer, Retreat to Ameria, Acidic Slime, Armor Craft Judge, Beanstalk Giant, Circuitous Root, good card, uh, Elvis Rejuvenator, Bodyman of Insight, Evolution Sage, he's fun, Far Wanderings, Fertilid, Harmonize, Harrow, Inspiring Call, Keeper of Fables, Colony Heart Expedition, Kadama's Reach. Man, there's a lot of good cards in here. Retreat to Kazandu, Satter Wayfinder, Spore Mound, Spring Bloom Druid, Tusk Guard Captain, Yavamaya Elder. Yeah, that dude is definitely an elder. That's an old tree right there. <laughs> uh, Zendikar's Royal. All right, now we're into our rares. Got the Trove Warden. We got the Geode Rager. Admonition Angel, which is a mythic. Put that one aside. Uh, Emeria Angel. Emeria Shepherd. Hour of Revelation. Planner Outburst. Sun Titan, another mythic. There we go. Uh, together Forever. Aw, ain't that sweet. <laughs> really cool art. Yeah, the artwork in this new set is just unbelievable. Abundance, the mending of Dominaria. A little saga from Dominaria, isn't it? 
Maltani, oh, Yavamaya's Avatar, another mythic. Pretty strong one, too. Nissa's Renewal, Rampaging Balaths, Return of the Wild Speaker, Rites of Flourishing, Sylvan Advocate, Waker of the Wilds, Living Twister, <laughs> pretty neat card, uh, Mina and Den Wildborn, and Omnith Locus of Rage, he is in here. Wow, pretty cool. So another mythic, and it's a good one. Seer Sundial, Needle Spires, a rare land, Ground Assault, okay, we're back to our common, uncommons and commons, I guess. Needle, uh, Ground Assault, Naya Charm, Struggle to Survive, Sylvan Reclamation, Treacherous Terrain, Arcane Signet, of course, Sandstone Oracle, Scare Tiller, Soul Ring, of course, gotta have that. Blighted Woodland, Woodland, Woodland. Did I say Woodland? What's a Woodland? Uh, Boros Garrison, Boros Guildgate, Command Tower, gotta have that. Cryptic Caves, Evolving Wilds, Gruel Guildgate, Gruel Turf, Jungle Shrine, Crows and Verge, Myriad Landscape, Naya Panorama, Selesnia Guildgate, Selesnia Sanctuary, Terramorphic Expanse, Rolling Regrowth, Marasa Root Gazer, and then we got our basic lands, Plains, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Mountains, all the same art on the Plains, one, two, three, four, all the same art, Forest, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the same art, and then we got our tokens, we got a core ally with a bird on the back, same, same, so three of those, Elemental with an elemental on the back and Omnath art. That's pretty cool. And same. And same again. So three of the same there. And then Sapperling with a beast token on the back. Times two, three, four. And then your little on your turn and popular magic formats little card. So there you have it. Um, this one had a lot more uh, mythics than the other one. The other one only had two mythics, which included the foil uh, commander. This one's got five when you include the Foil Commander. And the Omnith Locus of Rage, that's going to be a pretty valuable card, I'm pretty sure. Uh, there's no way that's going to be a bulk rare. That's, that's just a beast of a card. Um, and then, of course, Maltani, I think, is uh, pretty decent. So that one is a little expensive, but pretty pretty effective card. Sun Titan, I don't think that one's a bulk rare. And Admonition Angel. Uh, with Landfall being so good in the new set, I think all the Landfall cards are going to be worth <laughs> worth a little bit because, uh, yeah, Landfall is pretty busted good. All right, so there you have it. A lot more Mythics in this one. How many rares? I think we had 22 in the other one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, so a couple less rares, but we got more Mythics. So I'd rather have the Mythics. I don't know about you guys. Um, but, uh, lands about the same. We did get one rare land in this deck, uh, that wasn't in the other deck. So there's that. I think it's a real shame they didn't put the, uh, pathways in these decks. I mean, I mean, pathways are awesome. I don't know why they wouldn't put them in here. A little crazy, but anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments of these new commander decks, the Zendikar commander decks. So that's the second one. I, I already opened the other one, the sneak attack. This was the Land's Wrath one. So let me know in the comments what you think of these. A lot of people have been calling these like the Commander Planeswalker decks, saying they're they're a lot more underpowered than a typical Commander deck, um, more for beginners. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is this one going to hang with the, the big boys, or is this more of a Planeswalker beginner-type Commander deck? So curious to hear your thoughts. I don't play Commander. I haven't been able to play Commander yet since I have got back into the game a few, a few months back. So... Um, well, almost a year now, but, uh, you know, haven't been able to play Paper Magic for more than a few months after I got it back in the game. So, uh, before all the shutdown, all that. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, check out the description below. There's a lot of links to, uh, good prices on Zendikar and Double Masters and stuff. Um, there's a lot of, uh, uh, ways to get cash back on all your magic purchases. There's, uh, VIP packs for under a hundred bucks if you're still interested in those. 
uh, in the description, uh, mass, double master's boxes for under 300 in there. So, you know, check them out. Uh, you save some money. And if you buy anything from Amazon using my links, it helps out the channel. So I really appreciate it. Every like, share, sub that you guys do means the world to me. Uh, if you sign up for my Patreon, that's huge as well. Uh, I really appreciate everything you guys do. Appreciate your time. Uh, check out some other videos here, some suggestions in the corners probably if you got a few minutes. And hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. You guys have a great night. Bye.